Asian decapitator Yasuge, but African zombies not okay. Baldur's Gate, Dragon Age of Nudity, Sony Mate, Stella Blade, Sensor, Titty, Gritty, Dark, Sexy, Mature, Not with a high ESG score. DEI ruins all it's up against, your game just got modern audience. Jason Schwaya need his mommy. If you like boobs, then you like lolly. All pansexual force the gay, dislikes past 200k. Forces female so unwatchable, blink the audience irresponsible do as i say or you're a racist say corpos and pronoun faces move along people nothing to see except more games by sweet baby if you don't like furry art you get banned hell divers discord the foo fucks clan coomer incel bigot pedo keep projecting what you're into real democracy got me throbbing tears make great luke please keep sobbing frost 2.0 kotaku journo baramara said yes but ho said hell no cuck said you can't kill girls that's a pretty dress nigga give us a twirl wonder woman ruined by hogwarts haters better blame youtube commentators they won't buy you should have tried now brace for replacement by ai interior crocodile alligator i'm a starburst man i reject now a later's accept new terms don't make a fuss all your base are belong to us hello beta testers like and subscribe to join over 94,000 beta testers. Comment or correct me below, but I'm thinking every moment someone spends time on you, you are literally more relevant than every global crisis going on right now, to them anyway. What's amusing looking back at memes that games like Zero Wing inspired, all your base is almost exactly what people would do with AI today. And Apple's apparently making some advancements, so with some scrutiny to make sure Woke doesn't help it build Skynet faster, we may actually see some innovation. Through what? Competition. Healthy competition. To any tourist haters opting to voluntarily consume this content, unaware of why I regard my audience as beta testers, non-consensual of course, it's literal. Games drop incomplete, we end up paying for a supposedly final product only to realize that we're in fact beta testing. You all are. In the past days, Adobe did exactly what Woke does, and that's take away your choice. If you use their products, you are not allowed to opt or say no. You must agree to their terms that allow them to not only fully access any of the work you import, whether it's yours or otherwise, but it allows them the ability to revoke access and train their intelligence on your work. In the same way Pride Month is supposed to instill understanding that no matter who you are, you matter. But you can bet your bottom dollar that if you don't swallow that Mamby Pamby bullshit, that your habits and data at the very least are quite valuable to the right parties. That fine prints a bitch to, we can access, view, or listen to content. Our automated systems may analyze your content and use techniques such as machine learning to improve our software. All your work are belong to them. You know, all I want for you is to notice when they push back the hardest. It's just like Boeing. How do we know who's saying some real shit? It's, it's the reaction that tips us off, right, sweet baby Inc? The ability to say no certainly is a right. Certainly consent is cool. Warning, a trigger warning, if you will. <laughs> this is the inclusive stance, right? But time and time again, the woke cult represents silencing, muting, locking, hiding, deplatforming, defunding, diminishing, downgrading, denigrating, removing. Exclusion seems to be what the inclusive represent. Because only whom they choose should be represented. It's like not the full rainbow, it's only like a couple of them colors. Now more than ever, people deserve an outlet that they can set their watch to, especially when they're paying. Entertainment, a brief escape, not a lecture from dyed-haired activists. ESG, DEI, and sensitivity consultation has sanitized even mature escapes, which 
are easily the equivalent of taking R-rated movies and making them PG. And what's becoming most amusing about this conversation of deliberately ugly women being injected into games are that there are three indications of insanity that seem to be rolled out like very routinely. Indication one has the outraged ugly defender confusing the polygons with a real woman as they cheerlead for the corporation wearing pronoun face to dupe them with a hand up their ass into just squawking whatever fucking bullshit they they make their hand puppet their mouth to say you dumb motherfucker indication two supposes that pretty women appreciators have never seen a real woman we can call this the ign france erwin lafloyel fucking assumption i made a whole song about him because that's all you got is it you're wrong you're wrong it, it ain't the first and it ain't gonna be the last time Indication number three instantly likens attractive women to either aero addicts or kid diddlers. Do y'all think these digital bitches are real? Where do you begin to have a conversation with a person like that? Just step over that, man. That's a cold corpse. In fact, the people with the strongest feelings sharing this sentiment and defending the modern audience all seem to share one specific thing in a bio in the way of an ideology. Did you know that the Wonder Woman game writer is a Hogwarts Legacy boycotter? So the best-selling game of that year is being made by the dimwits who have such strong feelings that they can't separate a video game from just like how they live their life and the way of their identity. So you admit you can't fulfill the duties necessary for your your job without your feelings becoming a huge part of what you're doing and you have time to get on twitter and be mad about not enough women in some game studio because that has everything to do with you but you're on the right side of history so you really get a say you get a say in everything goddamn the reason we clash with people online is because they are by definition illogical. If you ask any of us to exercise logic in guessing which people would prefer from two of these pictures, you would guess right, they would guess wrong. Something woke DEI designers, developers, and activists posing as drain-circling games journalists know well enough to constantly attack an Eve from a stellar blade, no matter how stupid it makes them look. But journals are your bitch, gamer. And beta testers, you're naturally informed from years of experience that they lack. These tourists are your tools. And as cult-minded and attention-thirsty narcissists, they're no different than an OnlyFans girl willing to look stupid, hoping for more attention. They will debate you or whatever it is that you pose because they're running after you. Will they be able to blame straight white men for this? Trick question. They've convinced themselves that everything is what they consider cisgender heteronormative people's fault. But it's their problems. And how dare you not accept their explanation of it being better, more progressive, and on the right side of history for a modern audience? Let's let them rewrite your fucking language, bigot. It's better their way. What confuses me is how they lack self-awareness. They show you what works by flailing their arms, reacting. They might as well scream that, It's not working! I don't even care! It's not a big deal! Oh, wait, they do say those things. They do just say the opposite of how everybody feels. PC Gamer, you know, The Gamer, Kotaku, IGN. You have to say the opposite knowing that it's going to make you look dumb, but you've got no choice in needing people to click you, please. Oh, they got to click you. These entities have made such a business out of deceiving people that the instant any of you turn a mirror on them, they lash out as if the truth threatens their livelihood because it does. If I had a sign to tap, it'd be that, that thing that I said in response to Brianna. They should be proud of their supposedly righteous acts, but instead they seek to silence. And we've been through it before. These weirdos' big problem is that they can't make other people act the way they want them to and are constantly looking for scapegoats when they catch glimpses of themselves in the mirror during moments of lucidity. Opportunists that will blow the way the wind does 
And in the same way that you're seeing a bunch of people hilariously silent right now, when the wind is securely going in one direction, suddenly they'll have some things to say. Remember when people are good at something, they'll tell everyone. When they're great at something, everyone will tell them. And if you get too good, nigga, people will accidentally compliment you with imitations, failure to hide their obsession, and of course, pants down, asshole spread attempts at claiming they don't care. The biggest thing stopping you from making change is the belief that they reinforce that you can't. But you can. You're effortlessly better than these people. You can be more consistent. You're already kinder, more patient, more passionate. You could literally be a racist and be less cruel than these untalented and soulless dimwits who cannot blink without contradicting themselves. The unprofitable changes that these gaslighters are forcing are now demonstrating simultaneously their own hypocrisy. Gaming isn't just something I talk about. It's not just a lifestyle or a passion. It is a culture that I have been a part of and shared with different people with vastly different backgrounds, none of which were relevant for a much longer time than the tourists eager to change everything will ever understand. They cannot create, they must latch on and destroy. Of course I'm critical based on what I've seen, experienced, and where I know the bar has been, is, and will be moving forward. Never have I ever wanted even the slop guzzling shells desperately trying to prove without pay that everybody's wrong and show that this trash game is actually not that bad to be quiet, to stop. I would never want that. The will, determination, and imagination to see what others don't, to see something not as it is, but as it can be. That's what gaming's all about. And this is why gamers should mock, because sometimes mocking is the motivation. Some pussies don't understand. Some of these people obsess and utilize autism to make the experience match their vision. And from online chats, they form groups that shit out mods and games. And before you know it, they transform into a studio. That's how it starts. We've, ha we've all been on some tip before word got out, before the normies, before mainstream, and you've probably personally experienced the hypocrisy of them ending up doing it after talking all that shit. And if you're versed or kind enough, they've likely tried to enlist your help to teach them or their machines. Again, if you're good at anything, never do it for free. Unless you're me and love your audience and their big titties so much that you'd just, you'd be doing it for areolas for the rest of your life. Mocking, taunting, besting matched opponents in fair games is what bragging rights is all about. These participation trophy niggas wouldn't know anything about that. Overcoming entirely optional adversity is the fun that many people in this gaming industry, the, the media industry, probably could never be made to understand. They're offended by everything and too sensitive for anything. In short, they're pussies. And they looking for a dick down. I don't care who or what you choose. J.G. Wentworth said it's your money. Use it when you need it. But I implore you, spend your money. Don't waste your money. Educate yourself. Find somebody you can trust, not a shill. You're more than worthy of a harmless break that doesn't fucking hurt anybody. Have some asshole talking about how oh, you playing this video game makes you a transphobe to this to oh you know this is nasty to talk about this and I God no wonder they're so mad. It must indicate that I'm saying something. I'm talking about Boeing over here. Holy shit! To the patron sponsors and big titty beta testers, I'm so glad you're smarter. That's all I ever wanted. Do you guys know that I have to make an effort not to speak in my deep voice all the time because people are so easily emasculated? I'm over this. I just want to entertain you. But people's feelings.